Hello! In the last two videos, we looked at the different types of program and data memories that you can find inside of a microcontroller. Next, we're going to define the term peripheral. In general, peripherals serve one of two functions. First, peripherals can assist a microcontroller CPU by doing some activity in parallel to the CPU's execution of program instructions. We often say these are tasks the CPU could do, but it is just too busy to do. For example, many people have a washing machine to wash their clothes. They could wash their clothes by hand in a sink, but they choose to use a peripheral, the washing machine, because they already have busy enough lives. Two examples of microcontroller peripherals that fall into this category are timers and communication interfaces. The other way that peripherals can assist a microcontroller CPU is by doing some activity that the CPU cannot do by itself. For example, if I needed some minor surgery, it is generally not possible for me to do it myself. One of the most common microcontroller peripherals that fall into this category is the analog to digital converter. Now, does this all seem a little vague? Well, at this point, it's our intent to be a little bit vague. As I mentioned in an earlier video, there is no universally accepted definition of what a peripheral is. Just remember that microcontroller peripherals simply perform tasks that CPUs cannot do by themselves or the CPU is simply too busy to perform. And by keeping our definition of peripherals so broad, it will conveniently allow us to group just about everything else besides the microcontroller CPU and memories into this one category. Up next, we will wrap up the section on what's inside of a microcontroller. And then in the following section, we'll begin looking at our first peripheral, the timer. Thanks for watching.